today's tech tip is about incognito mode. This is probably something uh, you haven't heard about, but it's built into uh, each of the browsers that you use. In the Chrome browser, you press shift Control n and it will kick you into this generic mode. Essentially, it logs you out of everything you're logged into, and when you browse the internet, you get a more generic look of everything. Now, it doesn't make you anonymous. You're still, your internet provider is still going to know your IP address and where you go. So don't think you can do things you uh, shouldn't do when you're in incognito mode. Notice the little uh, icon in the top left corner, the guy with the hat and the sunglasses. That indicates your browser is in incognito mode when you're visiting a page. So if I go out to my proto page, this is what it looks like normal mode. Incognito mode, it logs me out and it tells me if I want to see this page, I have to log in. Notice the URL is exactly the same. The only difference is the one that doesn't know me, I am incognito. If a page doesn't require a login, even in incognito mode, it's going to let me see that page. If you ever visit a page that requires uh, you to subscribe after a certain number of page views, going incognito resets the counter. So you can look at the page as many times as you want to and never have to subscribe to the site. Or if you share something with the public, let's say through Google, Google Drive, and you don't know what it looks like to the public. You can go incognito to check the settings. Here, if I try to open the handbook, I can see the handbook, even though I'm not logged into the site because this particular document was shared with the public through Google Drive. Let's say you want to check your profile on social media. This is what my page looks like uh, when I'm logged into Facebook. If I copy this URL, that's my URL in Facebook, and then go incognito, I can see what someone who isn't even logged into Facebook can see. Or if I'm on Google and I want an unbiased search, I, Google makes money by tracking every user that uses Google. So if I want to see what Google shows me when it's not tracking me, I can go into incognito mode and get a, a generic experience. Now, if you don't trust Chrome because it's a Google product, you could always go into Firefox, and in Firefox, Control-P puts you in private mode. Same essential thing. Internet Explorer, Control-P puts you in private, uh, their version of incognito mode. So that's incognito mode. The next time you want a more generic experience on the Internet, try it.